What's up, NZers? Hi! And welcome back to another family reaction video. Today, we've got the whole family here, the whole gang. We're all here. Together. And we are going to check out uh, Miracle, which apparently is the greatest American sports moment of all time. Wow. So let's check it out. Yeah. These guys have no idea what's, what it's about. <laughs> Nothing. 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 So quite a while back. Wow. What? 80s or something, I think? Yeah, it is ice hockey. I saw the uh, fence that goes around. Oh, yeah. And patriotism was not really involved. The American Embassy in Tehran is in the hands of Muslim students tonight. The defining moment of the late 70s for Americans was the hostage crisis. Our hostages were being held in Iran. The country wasn't very happy with Jimmy Carter. We really didn't feel that good about each other as a country. And, and so you have all this confluence of events taking place. And it puts in perspective what it meant for the country, what the country was going through at the time. Wow. The Cold War. Is that a spaceship? Is that a, a rocket? Miss a missile. A bomb. Wow. Atomic bomb. Their weapons. So, you, do you guys know what the Cold War was? No. no. The Cold War was a, when America and Russia were almost, they almost went to war and had like a nuclear war. So, this is like around the mid 80s, around where uh, the time that me and mum were born. Yeah, and they were all preparing for nuclear Nuclear war. War, yeah. Yeah. I'm and sure it was I read like, about this like yesterday, right? Yeah, yeah. In you history. Yeah, yeah, you probably did. Mm. And But, it, but it, uh, people were like incredibly scared. Yeah. yeah. It was like they thought it was definitely coming. Mm. So, yeah, a lot of tension. It's really something that, that has become much more than a hockey game, and it became a political and social and economic statement. Somebody wrote that the ice will melt and turn to gold before the U.S. wins a game like this. And a bunch of college kids, basically, in effect, meaning a, an, an amateur team, but we all knew what they were. They were all listed as soldiers in the Soviet team, but they were hockey players. <laughs> they were the best hockey players in the world. The Soviets were well, looming in the medal round with an undefeated record and overflowing confidence. We were going to those Olympics thinking uh, that it was going to be a cake. All right, now I think the Russians are the greatest hockey team in the world. Wow. Did you guys feel like you were actually soldiers more than you were hockey players? And was this kind of a representation of the Cold War? I can't even see the puck. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one of the pixels. Oh, there it is. So did you hear what they said? Sorry to keep pausing it. Did you hear what they said about how the American team were just a bunch of amateurs? Yeah. Not even professional players. And the Russian team is like the best team on the planet. Mm. Undefeated. Because this, I think this is a gold medal match at the Olympics. Oh, okay. And so it was in, right in the middle of the Cold War. And it was the two countries that were about to go to war. Yeah, yeah. America versus Russia. That would have been tense. And they met in the gold medal match in ice hockey. Takes a one to nothing lead. Team USA <laughs> assembled by... <laughs> Look, smug. Mm. From the university league. Herb's goal was to get them to focus their hatred on him and be unified and become one. If you hate one person more, it, it brings you together. He would tell me he was trying to put together an American style of hockey that would reflect who America is. In the tournament that's far, outside of Prabuka, number five, a defenseman. Oh, what a shot. Wow. What a goal. 1-1. One, one. Not happy. No. Not so snug anymore. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty high speed, eh? We were way stronger. Nobody ever doubted that. We were professionals and they were just students. These guys obviously have played students for years and years and they were a machine. We had a bunch of college kids, ages 19, 20, 21, taking on this professional team. You know, if it's only like three to one, that's about all we can ask for. I'm sick and tired. Hearing about what a great hockey team the Soviets. 
No way did he score from there. No way. Wow, nice follow up. Wow. Oh, did you see the timer as that went in? Wow. Did you see that? Yeah, it just clicked over. Look at that. Boom, and then it goes in. Wow. That's insane. Two, two. I think it was expected to just be like a massive win for Russia. Yeah. Like easy. Not Russian coach went to Zerk. He took Trezak out and he never put him back in. Yeah, the Soviet Union goalie. And I think universally considered to be one of the best ever to play the game. There's the one that is the official end of the first period after it had looked for a fleeting moment as if Kaiser might not allow the goal. He does. So this was so much more than a game, wasn't it? I mean, this was really, I don't think it's an understatement to say this was freedom versus communism. You knew that game was huge as it was unfolding. Yeah. yeah. You know, the U.S. had no chance to be the Soviets. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, the old punch to the face. The Soviets dominated the play. Are they allowed to do that? The US yeah. I think so. I, I just don't think you can hit people with your stick. The US trailed three separate times. It was like thunder. The energy, I think, could have sustained for nine periods of hockey. Soviets take the lead in the second period and they outshoot the U.S. in the second period something like 15 to 3. You would like not want to be around the edge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But perhaps their final rush on this power play opportunity. 13 seconds left in the penalty. Oh. Falls perfectly. Boom. Oh, no way. These are wow. like impossible shots, eh? <laughs> yeah. How? How does it happen? You know, Petri was looking for something to rally the dance. I've been on the air for earthquakes. That may have been rocky in San Francisco. But all of a sudden it's three to three and the place has gone crazy. Well, what do we see here? Can this really be? Well, here's where the game becomes a little bit painful. Oh. Wow, okay, wow. so they're turning the tables now. <laughs> oh. Far out. Going for a shot. Boom! No way. They're ahead. Man, they just turned the aggression up, eh? Yeah, this is ex that would have been exciting to watch. Wow. It's exciting to watch. He's running in the <laughs> kidding me? Young teams. Fuzzy cheek group. They just piled up on top of each other. And it just brought everybody together in a way. You kind of galvanized the country and made you want to hug your television set. <laughs> Man, I wish I saw this live. I know. It would have been so exciting. Ooh, 4 3. Since 1964. See, wow. No one, certainly not a bunch of college kids, could stop them. 5.46. Whoa. States. Crazy goalie, Moss. Yeah. We skate. Oh. 4.55 remaining in the third period. Night. We stable. 2.25. And we shut them down. Safe. Because we can't. That final, I want to say 30 seconds, just it was this kind of sporting event. Juggled it. Oh. you think about it though, it would kind of hurt. But like, they're wearing all that padding and helmets, so I don't think it would hurt as much as they think yeah. when they get slapped. Yeah, but they, it would be annoying. They would be annoyed. <laughs> What? So it's ice hockey three periods. Wow. Oh my goodness. Totally unexpected. Yeah. Wow. Wow. What was it you guys are thinking as you were waiting on the blue line and Trejak said, 
They looked like the happiest people in the world. We wished we were them. Uh -huh. Fabietti tells us he was in a restaurant called Jimmy's across from our hotel when the result was announced there, and he said all the people in the place spontaneously stood up and sang our national anthem. I went outside and I saw fireworks and I saw people dancing in the streets and like glass. We are proud now to present the victors in the ice hockey competition. I remember <laughs> how uplifted the country felt when it's like putting a man on the moon. It's like we can do anything. We can beat the Russians in hockey. We can beat poverty. Be able to bring a country together. Not so much just you know, a sporting nation, but the entire country. This was such a unique event. First, second, third? Something yep. that never happened before. I can't imagine a scenario where it's going to happen again. The game forever dubbed the Miracle on Ice. Hmm. A win for the ages, spanning beyond sports. It's difficult to mm -hmm. understate the importance of the miracle on ice. It's been credited with everything from Hollywood's obsession with sports movies to a rebirth of national pride in America in the 1980s. I mean, it just made the country feel so much better about itself. Wow. Mm -hmm. Champions. Wow. <laughs> That was insane, eh? Insane. I mean, just the whole, how it went, it, go, it went so much deeper than sport. Yeah, because because there's so much tension at the time. Yeah. And I think what's cool is Americans love to show emotion. Yeah, And yeah. I guess the Russians would be, the you know. Quite reserved. Quite stoic. Yeah. And to see that, you know. Yeah, must have like. Must have been like. Mm, mm. okay. <laughs> Stop celebrating. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I like, you know, there's just the multi-layered thing of it. It almost felt like you sort of won the war, like, you know, the, yeah. co the Cold War. Yeah. Um, if, you know, yeah. Yeah. And then obviously you had like the whole, all the other layers of like totally different uh, values of life and, you know, like yeah. uh, ways of living, you know, communism. Well, freedom against communism, as they said. Yeah. So. And what? freedom won. Yeah. Freedom won that day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love it. So yeah, I love it though, how it was a bunch of students. Like young, I know. young kids. How good. And they came in and they just like. Don't underestimate the young people, eh? No. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that one, make sure you smash the like button and let us know uh, down in the comments about any other awesome stories like this. Because once Were you again, there? Yeah. Or did you watch this live? Were you one of the hockey players? Yeah. Like, we want to hear from you. Yeah. <laughs> and if you didn't know already, we actually have a podcast channel. So make sure you go and check the link down in the description box. We are going to have our second episode up soon. Yes. So if you want to go and check that out, uh, definitely go and watch that one. The first episode was uh, really, it was great reaction to it. Yeah, you guys loved it. So yeah. um, if you don't know, go and check us out and we'll be uploading more yarns. Yes, and also <laughs> we're having a big, I think it's kind of fitting for this, we're having a big 4th of July sale on our website. Yes. So make sure you go and use the code 4th July, 4-T-H-J-U-L-Y for 15% off your order. So yeah, happy 4th of July to everybody as well. Yeah, that's our merch store, by the way. Yeah, and the link to that is also down in the description. Yep. And we love you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.